After many unsubstantiated reports, we have just received confirmed footage of a traitor and dissident. Helldiver Gantz the Demon appears to slay his fellow squad members in an unprovoked and disgusting attack in this footage. What you're about to see may be graphic in nature. Helldivers 2, a game built around teamwork, completing the mission at all costs, helping your fellow Helldiver, and above all, democracy. What happens when some Helldivers break their oath? What happens when Super Earth's number one enemy is neither made of binary or green mists of bile? What happens when a Helldiver goes rogue? Have you heard the tragedy of Darth Gantz the evil? I thought not. It's not a story the Super Earth Ministry of Truth would tell you. This is a community story on the traitors of Helldivers 2. In 2024, I'm shifting both my channels towards more variety content, so make sure you tap the red button of freedom and the like button if you really want to, and carry that 500 kilogram bomb of justice to all that oppose democracy. Helldivers, a new stratagem has been introduced to the game, and it's going to give you some extra bazookas if you know what I mean. That and some energy for the fights. You can grab a cup of peach liber tea or any flavor you like by using code Evan at checkout for some gamer subs. I have a brand new cup coming soon, so thanks to everyone who has used my code so far. I love you like the smell of napalm induced democracy in the morning. Think about your favorite games that you've played that have team killing in them and the temptation that could have boiled over to allow for you to make irredeemable mistakes. We've all had that one friend who fell to the temptation of team killing. In the past, it was games like Hardcore Modes in Call of Duty, kicking the player instantly on team killing. On PC, it was Trouble in Terrorist Town, and the team killing environment it would create. More modern examples show us that it hasn't gone away. Stop shooting me! What the f is wrong with you? Chill! There was a mis in mis input. Calm down! You calm the f down! There was a mis input! Oh my f God. Unfortunately for Helldivers, some proper training is in order. Helldivers 2 released very recently, and with a war on the eastern and western fronts, a constant need for Helldivers arose. The game is sitting at close to 400,000 concurrent players as of recording, but that means some who volunteered may be playing for the enemy. Others may be playing for themselves, and scary enough, those who have a history of team killing may have jumped aboard our ships. This is not to be mistaken with a Helldiver who has no experience or improper training. Some are just not used to the ways of a live service game and carry over the PTSD from others. They are from the Towers of Destiny, the Realms of Diablo, the loot is just not normally shared, so it creates an environment of survival. In Helldivers, the main objective is to complete the mission, but there is an optional extraction should you survive. This implies a lot of teamwork and shared samples and other credits that you guys can use together. With that being said, there is one more player at stake here. There is intentional chaos. There's been one infamous traitor amongst the ranks of Helldivers around the universe, and it all started with this clip of Gantz the Demon. This story was taken to Super Earth's number one fandom, the Helldivers 2 Reddit. This post is locked, but articles like Games Radar spoke on the treacherous act. Quote, the player in question is Gans the Demon, and they've gained notoriety over the last weekend, thanks to the reasons summed up in the Reddit post below. In the post, a player claims they've had multiple reports that Gans the Demon is responsible for killing his own fellow Helldivers for nothing more than sick pleasure. The player advises others to steer clear of the accused killer, but only opens fire on him in return and not strike. 
first. Immediately, comments flooded on this Reddit post. Comments like, there is a bounty on his head now. Other comments like, kill him on sight and kick him after. Follow-up comments included things like, we should have this kind of reaction to those players that kick you at the extract. Had this happen to me today because I asked a dude for my shield back. Didn't even have the decency to do it then and there. Waited for me to carry his ass and the plutonium to extract and then booted my ass. Traitors. Some people would take it a little bit too far. Posting Gant's PSN profile with a wanted poster that said for the crimes against their fellow Helldivers, including team killing just before the extraction, overall hostile behavior towards allies, and ultimately threatening our democratic peace. Gantz the Demon, dead or alive. Reward, 10,000 super credits. This was gaining traction so fast that by the time it hit the Super Earth broadcast, an all-out hunt was on for Gantz. Then the news clip right there. As you can see, Gantz the Demon slays his squad members before entering the Pelican to extract safely. If you have information leading to the capture of this Helldiver, report it to your local Ministry of Defense station immediately or send us an email. Stay safe out there, Helldivers. You might wonder then, why was the Reddit locked, Evan? And the answer is that unfortunately, People didn't stick to one core belief. You may hate Gantz the Demon, the character in the game, but when people attack Gantz in real life and threaten his account and even him, even get his account banned, that's when the internet goes too far. See, Helldivers doesn't have PvP. Helldivers has a community so committed to the mission of PvE that you'd see people sacrificing themselves in order to save democracy. Unfortunately, some of us take the roleplay too far. And when it leaves the game, it has repercussions unlike any other. Think of the champion Let Me Solo Her, a legend that we all know in today's folklore. Now think of Gantz the Demon, a villain in the eyes of the world. But as this comment said, Honestly, I think Gantz the Demon as a character is funny, but leave Gantz actually alone. Gantz would do an interview with the Super Earth broadcast, in which he would discuss his side of the story. And now, a Super Earth Broadcast exclusive interview with Gantz the Demon. We've been able to get an exclusive interview with Gantz. And while we were not able to do an in-person interview, we were able to ask some questions and get answers. We asked Gantz, how do you feel about being marked as a traitor in the community? His response, being marked a traitor, came as a bit of a shock to me especially because of how much love I have for the community. I figured people would listen to my side of the story if they knew what really happened. We then asked if he knew the person personally. He said, so D2, he's a close friend of mine. He's the one that got killed by Yo AJ. I am friends with Yo AJ as well. The third individual is Yo AJ's friend, if I'm not mistaken, but I do not know him. After this interview, there was reactions from around the internet. But one post stood above all from Steve Hammer on Reddit. Quote, Don't believe every post. Earlier today, we had a guy in our squad who kept randomly shooting us to death and picking up our samples. We told him to stop, and he did. Then we got to the extraction, and once the ship landed, he proceeded to drop every single orbital strike and eagle strike he had on the evac zone. Our party leader kicked him. Later that day, I see someone with the exact same name complaining about being kicked before extraction or quote, no reason. Redditors would go on to respond to the post with comments like, the plot thickens, and others like, the plot chickens. Good one. Then the comments asked who this person was, who did all of this team killing before the extracting, and someone replied, Ants the demon. Now, after looking into this deeper, it wasn't Gantz, but someone else named ModGrinder666, who would go on to say in his post earlier that day, quote, That is f***ing disgusting. There is nothing more disgusting than being kicked 30 seconds before the shuttle lands. No enemies, no friendly fire, no reasons to kick me. I did nothing wrong. No stratagem did any team killing, and I lost all of my samples and the ones they collected during that 40-minute mission. <coughs> you for kicking. 
fucking, your democratic partners, you fucking bot. With all that noise, it was safe to say what Gantz had spawned in was armies of undercover traitors, whether he wanted to be the face of them or not. He had created a nightmare for the Federacy. If Let Me Solo Her had fans and clones, even some rogue, then Gantz had the same effect in the worst way possible. Helldivers more anxious than ever that they may be in bad company, players ready to kill for the sake of killing. Perhaps this was an automaton-seated device placed in the brains of our divers. Perhaps a worm infecting the brain like a rotten terminid. No matter, traders and helldivers each have their own place on the bounty boards in the game, and a special spooky tale helldivers share on Halloween. Gantz, you've created a name that all traders will rally behind, now and forever. This is where we need to say again that these should only stay in the game and not leave anywhere else. It should be understood by all that Gantz was just messing with his friends, and whether he's an infamous spooky tale Helldiver share, it should remain a tale and not something to ruin some poor guy's life over. We're better than that. For the story of Gantz and the traitors that follow, it just goes to show that such a simple concept of a live service game can be taken so far by its community that nothing is off the table. Nothing but love for the Helldivers community and the journey that continues to unfold. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. It's the only way to get more insane stories from here. What if I told you that the next story we're going to cover is the center of all the madness Helldivers has fostered? There is one real villain pulling the strings, and they work at Arrowhead Games. The next video will be on Joel the Game Master. Be ready, and I'll see you on the Level on Creek. Hmm.